This mom review is of Fort Collins, Colorado. The campsite where we stayed was the Lakeside KOA and bathrooms. Their bathrooms were decent. They had, uh, I can't remember exactly, five or six just bathrooms within their bathhouse. So you'd go in and there would be a, a shower, a toilet, a sink, uh, all in a pretty spacious sized bathroom. So as far as being a mom and having to help little kids, that was pretty nice to have all that space to kind of spread out. Activities on the campground. All right, so being a KOA, there were a lot of activities. There was uh, a giant playground that was basically an obstacle course. You'll have to watch my Fort Collins um, family adventure video and see the kids play in there. Other free activities, uh, there was a swimming pool it had a kiddie pool and a regular pool that was five feet at its deepest point. There was also a splash pad next to the pool. There was a pickleball court with paddles and balls that you could take for free to use. There was a basketball court. There was ladder golf and there were inflatables. Uh, the inflatables were old and worn, so the kids didn't really spend a whole lot of time there. The activities that you could pay to do, there were paddle boats, so those were $12 for half an hour. There were bicycle rentals, so we had the family bike, which had four seats on it, and that was $10 for one hour. And then there were the individual bikes. My kids did one that was they called a banana bike, where you sat really low to the ground and just had to lean your body side to side to turn it. And the individual bikes were $5 an hour. So overall, there were plenty of activities on camp to keep you busy. Another activity was mini golf. You did have to pay for that. We were there on a celebration weekend, so it was only 60 cents per golfer. But normally it was more than that. I can't remember, maybe $3 per golfer. Now with those activities that you do pay for, uh, you definitely want to keep track of what you are doing because you can just charge it to your site. And then at the end, you just get an email with your total amount on it, and it doesn't have a breakdown of the individual expenses. Um, so if you're like me and, and likes to check every detail, you definitely want to keep track of how much you are charging to your account so that you can verify the bill in the end is correct. As for the campground itself, um, there it is an RV campground. There were just sites packed in pretty much as close as you could get them. Not a lot of trees in between uh, for shade. so. Just keep that in mind that this is not like a state park campground where you kind of spread out and lots of trees and you know, you're, you're packed in with a whole bunch of other rvs all close around you all right one day we did go into fort collins when we went into fort collins uh, we did have to make a stop at a grocery store so we did a trader joe's uh, i've heard of it before we do have one in the vicinity of where we live but nowhere i've ever been before we also went to the fort collins museum of discovery and that had a ton of hands-on activities. A lot of them were music-based, so banging on drums, strumming guitars, playing piano, that type of music stuff. Um, it had reasonably priced entry. I think it was twelve fifty for adults and nine fifty for kids. Uh, it would probably be best for kids ten and under. My thirteen-year-old did get a little bit bored uh, towards the end of our time there. Their hands-on exhibits included things like instruments, as I mentioned, transportation, amphibian, reptiles, bees, small rodents on display, agriculture exhibit, and an outer space exhibit. I'd say it's good for about two or three hours of fun if you want to get out of the heat of the outdoors. It also had a big parking lot with free parking, so good for driving the bus into to be able to park it without having to worry about space. We did go out to eat once while we were there. We went to a restaurant called Tasty Harmony. It too was reasonably priced with um, main dish type meals, about $15 a piece. It is a completely vegan restaurant and it did have a good selection of gluten-free options, so plenty of food for everybody. And even my older kids who tend to shy away from anything vegan and or gluten-free, really enjoyed their meals. Uh, there is no separate kids menu, but they did have kid-like items such as macaroni and cheese and french fries. 
It was located downtown, uh, which is a very busy place. Fort Collins has a lot of foot traffic, it would appear. Uh, however, there's not a whole lot of open parking for something like a bus. So I ended up parking in a nearby grocery store, uh, went in and just bought an item just to kind of feel better about using their grocery store. And uh, just then walked to where we needed to go. What did you like about Colorado? I like it doing mini golf. All right, what's some things you liked about Colorado? Um, the pool, mini golf, and that four person ride. Were there any things you did not like? No. Do you want to go back? Mm -hmm. My favorite things at Four Collins were the paddle boats and the swimming pool and the playground, pedal cars. That riding in the bus for eight hours was fun? Yeah. Was it really? Yeah. Um, so my favorite part about Fort Collins was uh, the campground we stayed at had a whole lot of activities that were super fun. And going into town was cool. What it, was what was there in town that you liked? Um, there were bike lanes on the roads, and um, there were mountains. Being Colorado, I like mountains. Anything you did not like? Um, not really. Riding in a bus? For yeah, hours yeah. with your siblings? Yeah. Yeah, that was not fun. Would you go back? Mm 